Hello, I'm Ducat. Welcome to my pond. Today we shall build a nice little airport in Airport CEO. I introduce you to Rupert Patsy, the CEO of our beautiful future airport. Let's go on. I was thinking of going to England and I like uh, Southern England. Cornwall, New Quay. That sounds good to me. Let's go there. The airport shall be known as the Hedgehog Airport. Port. And our three letter code will be HDG for Hedgehog. Logo. I like this one. Nice little pine trees, like the nice little mountain. We shall play on the moderate uh, difficulty. And uh, let's go. And here we are. It's a sunny day. And there's nothing on our plot besides the entry road. Let's pause the game first and foremost. And uh, let's start thinking. So we're going to begin with general aviation. And we're going to worry about the commercial license later on. I think that in the future, this road, we shall move to the left or to the right. So that it doesn't cut through our uh, land uh, so much. Because that can be a tricky thing to, you know, to have. <laughs> But let's leave it like this for now. Uh, first things first, uh, we need to sign a contract with a contractor that is going to allow us to build. So we have HWY, 62 workers for 8.2 pounds per hour. Or Berkeley, 108 workers for 6.6. .6, so it's cheaper and just simply better. So we shall sign the contract with Brickley. Not Berkeley, Brickley. Awesome. Now, let's plan the terminal. I'm going to put it here to the right. We're going to put uh, maybe general aviation around here or maybe here. Uh, runway can go here or there or maybe here. Let's start with the terminal. So, terminal, foundation. I'm going to leave a couple of spaces for the sidewalk. And we're going to put down a smallish entrance for now. We can always expand it later on. But we don't want to overdo it. We have two millions. So that's quite a bit. But, uh, you know, no reason to spend if we don't need to. Also, in the infrastructure, we want to get some sidewalks. And put them here, I believe. For a nice little entrance. We're going to require a door. It's very hard to enter a building without a door. Do we want to put it a little bit half offset? Maybe, because uh, I might build some uh, restrooms here. So let's put it right there. And of course, we're going to require, this is, if this is the entrance, we want to have the actual terminal maybe be in the future around here let's go four by ten for now we don't really need this little wall so let's not build it then we are gonna require the, uh well a runway <laughs> oh also the atc tower it's quite important so i think that for now i'm gonna put it uh, let's put it here in line with this uh, part of the terminal. We are going to require some aircraft stands for people to be able to park their airplane. Let's leave a couple of spaces there for the future road that is going to connect everything. And how many do we want? Let's start uh, here. One, two, three four, five, and then, what the hell, let's go five more, 
I think it's going to be extremely good for the beginning. It's going to bring in the money. Uh, we require a taxiway, which is here. We're going to do everything uh, in grass for now. I left five squares so that we have a center where the, uh, where the taxiway line can go. We, uh, you know, it's nice to have uh, symmetrical things. Now the question is, do we have enough space for a runway over there? Let's see. Zoom out a little bit. Okay. Maybe we want to put it, uh, yeah, a couple of squares to the left. So if we need that to put down some fencing, it's going to be easier. And there is our uh, runway. We also require runway ramps for the airplane to be able to get there. So let's put one here and one there. Taxiway, we are going to come out with a five by five. So we still have our center line going. And let's go there for now. We want to do the same here with a five by five. Come all the way down. And now we know how much we need to extend this bit. Five by five. All the way up. There we go. Now the taxiway path, so that the game knows where the airplanes are supposed to, to go. So let's drag uh, these across first between the parking spots, also known as stands. And this is what I was talking about. Now we can, we can have a nice uh, central line. There we go. Is this connected? I guess it is. Then... Uh, just this bit. I need to remind myself uh, exactly how the game works. There we go. Runway, ATC Tower. 10 stands in total. Future Terminal. Here we have uh, uh, the place for deliveries and the place for the contractor. Very good. So now we want to deploy them because we have a lot to build. We have a lot to build. Oh, you know what? We should also think about a little office, little office for our administrators so that they can do a little bit of research. Hmm, maybe I don't want to put it there because it would be nice to have restrooms here. Why don't we just extend it this way? For now. Let's put in just a normal regular door, I suppose. Put it there. And then in stuff, we want to make sure that this is a stuff room. And we can put some office desks in it. How many do we want for starters? I'm going to, I think I'm going to hire two administrators, one janitor, and possibly one of the executives. But I'll show you what I mean just in a second. So let's put in uh, four, four desks. I don't think that uh, we're probably going to hire a janitor as well, but I don't think that we need a desk for the janitor. We will also be beautifying the situation, but for now, let's leave it uh, bare bones like that. All right, time has arrived to call all the contractors and deploy them. We can also start the game. Airport is closed, but that's fine. No ATC tower exists. Well, it needs to be built. It's right there. I'm actually not a big fan of where I put it, so I'm going to change that real quick. I'm going to bulldoze this ATC tower and put a new one in. And we're going to put it here, so they have a good view of the runway. I think that's uh, more realistic, isn't it? Oh, you know what we also need? Uh, the service road should connect. So let's do that real fast. Uh, where is it? Uh, runway ramp, uh, taxiway foundation. Is it here? Yes, service road. Let's uh, 
Let's uh, stick to grass for now. Very good. And we're also going to need very soon an entry, a vehicle checkpoint, so that we can bring in vehicles from the outside world into the secure area. So I'm going to put it right here, because if I do that, I can drag a service road right to that junction there and keep it minimalistic and neat. Awesome. So I think we have everything in there that we need to start uh, doing business at the new Quay airport. So when it comes to stuff, I was saying we have a bunch of executives that we can hire. We are, of course, the CEO, Rupert Patsy. But uh, we want to get a CFO pretty fast because it's going to unlock the ability to set the airport fees. And this is very powerful. Also, it's going to reduce the corporate tax by 25%, and that's massive. Like, I, I wish I could have a CFO that reduces 25% taxes in real life. Also, it's going to provide us with uh, econ economy reports. And it's going to lower the fine cost if we get any fines. So it's quite powerful. And I think it's worthwhile to have one uh, immediately. The other ones are also quite powerful. But let's start with that one. And take it from there. So applicants. Let's go with basic staff first. We want some administrators. Because they are going to be responsible of our uh, research and development uh, division. What am I seeing here? So it's definitely way cheaper. She has got a green bar, Karen Edwards, but she's costing less than these people. So I think she's pretty good. And also Lars Christensen. Why do I feel like uh, there's somebody that I know that is called Lars Christensen? Is it, is it like an author maybe or something? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get uh, Karen and Lars because they seem to be pretty good value for money. Then uh, we want a janitor as well. Now we don't want to overdo with the janitor. I think we can uh, easily go. Yes, for example, this guy is yellow. We're gonna train him uh, him eventually. He's costing five pounds, which seems to seems to be the minimum. So I think uh, Sasha Milnik is gonna be pretty good to hire. And uh, we don't need. For now, passenger service agent, nor ramp agent. That is things that are going to be required for the commercial uh, license uh, airplanes. Security officer, same deal. Service technician, I'm not sure actually. I think we need it because if we put in some restrooms, they're going to break down. So let's hire one of them. What am I seeing here? So he is pretty good. He's got a lot of skill and he's less expensive than, uh, than the other guy there. Yeah, he's definitely the best one here. So let's hire uh, Dennis Krajnik. Krajnik. Sure. And also, did I get a janitor already? I already forgot. Service tech. Oh, wait a second. Stuff. Yes, we did. So what we need is the executive. So hopefully we can find a nice uh, CFO. That would be Chief Financial Officer, I believe. And uh, what do we see? What do we see? We don't see anything because uh, we're not under the executive. And we have a couple of CFOs here. Very expensive. This one is definitely better. But I have a feeling that um, maybe we can find somebody better than, than him. And also this name is um, difficult to pronounce. So you know what, let's reject uh, uh, all of these people, uh, at least uh, both of the CFO and this one as well, because it's way too expensive. We're going to um, keep Veronica Rosen around. Yeah, because she's cheap and we like cheap. So let's come back to the... Oh, there we go. It's still very expensive. But I do like the name, though. Martin Novotny. Jump on board. Come on, let's go. Okay, uh, all our contractors are moving around like little hands, uh, ants, as you can see. But they are getting uh, work done. I think uh, 
that this is looking mighty fine. Are we around, by the way? Where is Rupert Patsy? I don't see him. That's alright. Let's speed up then. And in the meantime, we can take a look at other things. So far, only expenses, of course. And uh, basically, all of them are going to be for operating costs uh, and contractors. And of course, we have a lot of building that we're doing as well. So fees, we can already modify them. And this is possible because we have the CFO. That's why it's very important to get it from the starts, I believe. Because we can definitely increase a little bit of the fees uh, for the small aircraft uh, uh, runway usage fees. And also the stand parking fees for general aviation, which is what we're doing now. So let's bring that up as well. And this is reminding me of the fact that we don't provide any service whatsoever so far at the airport. So maybe we can think about getting some fuel to supply the small um, general aviation aircrafts. Vending machines, passengers, we don't have parking fees, we don't have parkings. This is advanced stuff, so no. Loans, uh, we can actually get some, but we don't want to do that for now. Contractors, uh, uh, these are accepted contracts and offer contracts. It's only these guys first. Uh, yeah, we can't actually, we don't see fuel uh, suppliers yet because the airport is closed, I believe. All right, so they seems to have uh, finished uh, doing most of the things. What's going on here? Oh, I messed up. This should be the other way around. Oh, that's a shame. So, we, uh, unfortunately, we have to... Can I move it? Wait, pause for a second. I can't. No, we have to, to destroy it and make a new one, unfortunately. My bad, my bad. So, that was the vehicle checkpoint. It should be or, or oriented the other way around, but we can't actually do it. So, I'm going to have to plot, uh, plot it down somewhere else. We could also put it here, that would be quite efficient. Yeah, let's do this first. And we keep this road because we're going to expand with something else over there. But we need to make uh, some new public road on this side, like that. And on the other side, it's already fine. This little road section I am going to destroy because uh, it's uh, annoying and I don't think it will be used. Wait, maybe that's not the way to do it. Maybe I should instead uh, click on asphalt here and cancel like that. Should be working, let's see. Yes, it is. Alright. In the meantime, Let's open the runway. All those uh, problematic signs go away, which is great. And uh, I don't think there is a, a reason to wait any longer. We can open the airport. So operations, airport, airport is open. General aviation is allowed. So let's see, let's see. It was going to be the first uh, little airplane to come to our Edgehog airport. All right. Contractor, we definitely don't need uh, all of them to stick around. So let's uh, dismiss... Uh, let's keep um, 10 around for now. So we have 108 in total, so let's go to 98. Dismiss the rest. You can go home to your little families. This uh, is the bus that is picking up the contractor people. There we go. It's the first airplane, and it's a green airplane. Beautiful. So it's a WT-9 by the manufacturer Aerospool. I actually don't know this airplane. Or maybe I do. It looks like something very familiar, but then again, it's also a very common look for a GA aircraft. But welcome, welcome to the Ajok Airport. Which parking spot are you going to choose? Oh, ah, you like this one, huh? Good choice. It's close to the terminal entrance, so that's good. Also, the staff uh, is hanging out here. Why not? Where is Rupert Patsy? Where is he? 
where are the administrators? And speaking of which, we need to start a research and development program. What do we want to do? Um, commercial license? No, let's wait. Let's wait for that. I would like actually to go first to the program group one. Because this uh, is going to give us uh, a spot to place uh, permanently administrators to reduce the salary cost uh, or the upkeep or the repair cost and even increase the construction speed. So I want to have this option right from the get go. So yes, please uh, start this project and uh, you guys are all assigned to it. So are they going to be around now that uh, I have assigned uh, a project to them or what? And where is Rupert Patsy? Where is he? Slacking off on the first day. That's what it's doing. Oh, another airplane. It's another WT9 uh, dynamic. It seems to be quite po uh, popular. Very interesting. All right, we have uh, contractors just uh, doing nothing. What about we think of uh, providing fuel services to them? Let's do that. So first off, let's go to the, uh, I guess it's infrastructure, no, it's probably airport, aircraft infrastructure. And uh, we can put down a small fuel depot. Oops, didn't mean to rotate uh, the map. Maybe right here. So if we need to branch off uh, with the service road, we have a space for it. And we are also going to need a uh, parking spot. We can either go for a garage, 10,000, with operating cost of 20, or 4,000. Let's go on with the cheap option. And also it's a grass airport, so it only makes sense uh, to have a grass parking spot at the very beginning of it. And we can place it maybe... Actually, we can already take advantage of this, but I don't like that it's coming so close to the end of the map. So let's go right next to it, I think. Yeah, let's do that. So nice and central. So our contractor people... Oh, this is still uh, people going away, the other contractors. Oh, there is a third airplane. That's a different model. It's a Cessna. Cessna 182. Very classic uh, general aviation uh, aircraft. One of the most fa famous, uh, as a matter of fact. Usually... No, actually, the Cessna 152 would be the most basic of them all, which is usually what you have if you play Flight Simulator. The default aircraft you're going to be playing is going to be a Cessna, and it's going to be a 158. But here we have the 182. Fantastic. Welcome, welcome to the Hedgehog Airport. All right. So contractors are building uh, the new parking lot and the fuel depot. We also are going to require a vehicle to, to supply the aircraft. So let's go get that. Purchase vehicle. Yes, the Fjord fuel truck. Order one. Does not meet the requirement for purchasing this product. Make sure the following requirements are met. Vehicle checkpoint, vehicle depot. Well, uh, yes, we have the checkpoint. Oh, look, there is a still this uh, uh, bit of road that we need to get rid of. So let's do that. Get rid of that. Thank you. But we need the parking. So fair enough. We have the checkpoint uh, entry point, but we didn't have a parking. Now we do have a parking. So let's go back and order it. There we go. In progress. Fantastic. Where is Rupert Patsy? Where are the administrator? This is extremely strange. Like, can we find them? Let's go. Stuff. Uh, all. Like, for example, where are you? It's like they're out of the map. I hope they're... I wonder if it is because there is no uh, parking uh, spots for cars. Maybe that's why. So let's put some in. Car stop, sure. This way. Let's put in a couple. What about uh, we put in the bus stop too? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Is this our truck? Oh, that's a delivery truck uh, for the construction. Oh, you know what we need though, as well? We need to sign a contract for fuel. So let's go to economy. 
offered contracts filtered by aviation fuel suppliers. And we're going to go with this one because it's street star, but let me show you. So 1.46 for the basic fuel, 146, 20,000. Say two stars. 154. Oh, wow. This is the first time I see this. This one is cheaper. So what's the advantages of this one? Oh, very interesting. This is the first time that uh, something that is higher star is actually crappier than the other one. But what about this one though? 1.31. So this one is still better and it's a three star. But this one is natural fuel. Maybe it's because like it's uh, ecological. We're gonna go with Avi fuel. So 131, 40,000 liters uh, every time they bring it over, which is great. We don't need that much, but it's gonna be useful later on. So let's sign the contract with Abbey Fuel. Let's go. Cool. And now that we have a contract, uh, they should send over. Oh, this is our uh, vehicle. There it is. The, the small fuel truck. It's the Fjord model. Very good. Is it going to be operated by a ramp agent? I'm not sure, actually. I don't think so. I don't think so. So this is the big supplier fuel truck that is coming in. Here we go. It's gonna load our tanks. As you can see, maximum capacity is 30,000. So if my math is not failing me, that means that this truck is gonna go away with 10,000 liters left. Let's see. Oh, actually it was f f uh, uh, 400,000. Oh my god, that's a massive amount. There we go. He's already working. I just loaded it itself, I guess. Yes. We need to turn on the, the fueling uh, services. The refueling services. Let's go. There we go. Enabled. And now, in the fees, we also want to make sure that we slightly increase this. Because we did invest in a CFO. It's only fair that we take advantage uh, of uh, its uh, services. Is it a um, boy or a girl, by the way, our CFO? Where is it? Uh, it's Martin Novotny. Of course he is. Where? Everybody's in the corner of the map. What's going on here? It's because I hired people without... Uh... Maybe it's because it's night. They are working though, right? Yes, they are. Look at them go. 44% already done. Fantastic. Here we go. Wow, 1%. That's what it took uh, to, to refill this uh, Chesna. What do we have here? A J3 Cub by Piper. Very classic airplane as well. And uh, all uh, the other ones are either the Cessna or the, Ch the J3 Cubs. Or the WT9, I believe they're called, right? Where is it? This one. WT9, yeah. Okay. Who's this person? Oh, the Piper 28 um, uh, Cherokee. Another very famous uh, GA airplane. Very good, very good, very good. So, I don't think we need uh, that many contractors uh, in the in the airport anymore. Oh, finally! Here we go, here we go. We have Mr. Martin Novotny, the CFO, the janitor, uh, Sasha Melnik, then, oh, uh, here we are, Rupert Patsy, finally coming to the new Quay Cornwall Airport of the Edgehog. Beautiful. Then we have, of course, administrators, Karen Edwards. This one is the service technician, he's probably browsing for a uh, for wrenches and screwdrivers and things like that. This one is the administrator Lars Christensen. And this is the janitor, isn't it? Fantastic. I'm very happy to see you all. I shall reward this by putting in some nice moquette with a very pleasant, relaxing blue. And uh, maybe a couple of plants. Yes, look at this nice uh, palm. Let's turn it around a little bit like that. Let's put one there. And this is enough for now. K 
can we assign uh, uh, tasks? Yes, we can. Ooh, I just got an idea. So we're going to make uh, a couple of things now. We're going to make a little restroom and uh, a little office uh, for the executives because it sounds like an appropriate thing to do. So let's... Uh, do I want to extend for the bathrooms? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. So let's go with the terminal foundation. And let's... Uh, build this. Then we want a wall uh, here. We're gonna make uh, the, the uh, toilets uh, for boys and girls. And we're gonna give the larger one to girls because we be gentlemen. Um, door here, door there. Then we can assign these places as uh, bathrooms. We shall put in maybe four toilets. And for the boys, we shall take advantage of the urinals. L'épissoir. Sink uh, we can put, I suppose, uh, right there. And the hand dryer as well in there. For the girls it's different because we have less space here. So let's put it uh, here instead with the dryer right there. And uh, we would like to build some new walls. Make... Uh, a little office for ourselves. How big do we want it? Uh, let's make it like this. Let's make it like this. Nice little door, which can be. We put the slide the door. Yeah, maybe that's kind of cool. No, but we wanna we want to maximize privacy in case we're just there smoking our cigars or whatnot. I am gonna put in a little window though. Beautiful. Beautiful. So stuff. Desk. Oops, I didn't mean. Yes, this game sometimes the rotation key is uh, easy to misinterpret. All right. So contractors are done with the bathrooms. Let's pause for a second because I need to make sure that this is for boys and this is for girls. And uh, we don't need to turn them on because they are not really being... No, actually, they are being used uh, by the staff, of course. There you go. You have bathrooms now. Let's resume. What's going on with the airplanes? Do we have something new? That's the Cherokee. What's this? Well, so far, so good. Let's take a look at the economy tab. Yes, uh, previous hour, we made 4,538 pounds. Most of it was parking fees. And this is why... It's very nice to be able to tweak uh, the fees. It's gonna make a lot of difference. We have also some uh, uh, fuel sales. So we have profit, but the cash flow is negative because we are constructing a lot of things. So we are looking good though. And uh, mm, I know, I know, I know what's missing. We are missing. A wind sock. You must be able to tell where the wind comes from. So let's put it maybe next to the to the tower is a reasonable place. Yeah, let's put it there. And what about a nice little small weather station? Next to the wind sock, why not? Anything else that is interesting here? Concrete tile, people depots. No, that's pretty much all we need. We are missing taxi, but taxi is not required for now. Maybe we could invest in a parking lot. I'm sure that the general aviation people are going to use it, right? How big is it? Well, it's quite big. Let's rotate. Can we squeeze it in maybe? No, it's too close to the map. I think we're going to have to split uh, the road there. And the taxi we can put on the other side, I suppose. We could even put it here. 
because the service rod is already in place, so we don't need that much space. That could be... That could be good. But maybe let's just wait around for the commercial airplane uh, phase to start, so to speak. I think we are in a fantastic spot. We are making money. We have 10 airplanes come, uh, that uh, are able to park. Condition of the runway. Oh yeah, look at that. It's going down quite fast. So we are allowing small aircraft and general aviation. Hmm... I might uh, decide to have a um, dedicated runway for the commercial flights on the other side. I think that can be quite uh, neat and reasonable. Because I do enjoy having a, um, a grass runway around for general aviation. But maybe an asphalt one for the, for the other, for the commercial ones. How is the research coming along? Okay. We're still doing it. Uh, fantastic. Yes. Yes, I am very pleased. I think uh, Rupert Pazzi... Where is he? Oh, by the way, we need to allow only uh, CEOs there. Do we want to let the CFO go in there as well? I don't think so. I don't think so. We're gonna make a little office for him as well, real quick. Let's go here, walls. He doesn't need to be as big as the CEO for obvious reasons. CEO being the most uh, important uh, person, after all. Um, a desk. So this is not very symmetrical, but it's fine. We can put it just like uh, this. That's reasonable. And this uh, one, we are gonna allow, wait. CEO, very good. Can I already decide for this one? I'm not sure, so let's build it first. There you go, Rupert. You have your nice office. Look at him go. What about we also give you a nice little uh, uh, plant for your office? I forgot where it is, though. Is it in terminal? Oh, vending machine. That's also something we can think about. Aircraft, where is it? Where are the plants? Pause for a sec. Oh, there they are, decorations, okay. So maybe a fern, a banana. Let's go with the banana. Put one there, or maybe here. Yeah, let's put one there. What else do we have? We have the logo of the of the, of the the airport. We should totally place it down. Oh, that's a shame that we can't. Oh, maybe we can uh, place two of them. Why not? Looks good to me. One and one, two. And what about uh, we designate this area with a, a little bit of a different color? Maybe this red. Like the entrance can be like that. Yeah, that looks good to me. Let's resume, so we can assign this desk to the CFO. This is for CFO, there we go. But he changed both of them. Did he also change this one? Oh, I see, it's because it's the same office area. So what about we try and fix that uh, in this way? We go to staff, we go staff zone, staff room. And now we wanna cancel this and we wanna remake uh, one for this section. And a small one for this too. There we go. And now maybe we can, let's uh, clear all type and CFO. Is it done? Yes. And here we have clear all type and CEO. There we go. And here uh, we can uh, maybe just tell the CEO and the CFO not to use them. And the other ones we leave, uh, we take care of them when it happens. I think it would be nice to have uh, 
a little bit of a fancier flooring for the office over there. Let's go with the dark wood. Very ominous. Whereas the other guy can have uh, this type of wood. Yes, that's very CEO-like. All right, I am very pleased. Rupert Patsy has got his beautiful own uh, personal office. Everybody's working. We are making money. Yes, we are. And now we, has, we even have positive cash flow. The research and development is done. What a fantastic thing. What a fantastic thing. So, for now, we're just going to reassign uh, uh, the people to some of these pro uh, programs. So, upkeep cost reduction and salary cost reduction, repair cost, increased construction speed. So, let's put them there. And I think this is a wonderful place to finish the first episode of the wonderful Edgeok Airport. Uh, I hope you liked it. And if you did, uh, consider liking the video and uh, subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.